my sister, your prayers are not wasted. Oh, you hear me? Your prayers are not what? Your prayers are not wasted. Because I'm seeing you waking up in the middle of the night, huh? You try to pray all the time. But right now, everything went down. But everything went down now. Oh, you hear me? Amen. There's a spirit of disappointments. True. And the same spirit is attacking your studies. Huh? True. The same spirit is attacking your studies. I saw a friend who, like, black in color. Huh? <laughs> I'm seeing a friend that you're staying with in the same room. Huh? Mm -hmm. You also need to pray for this friend. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Pray for this friend because both of you, you've got almost the same challenges. But I want to tell you, let me tell you now, at the right time, God wants to lift you up. Amen. Because you people, you are, you are attacked by the spirits of Pretoria. Huh? Amen. Are you not from Pretoria? Are you not studying there? I'm studying in UJ, but I'm from Pretoria. You are from Pretoria? Yes. So these spirits of Pretoria that are attacking you people, but don't worry, God will fight for you because I'm seeing a struggle in your studies. Mm -hmm. But what's more important now is that I know God wants to use you. Amen. I've never told a young lady this. You are the first person. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. And pray for this friend. Pray for the, I'm seeing a black friend. Okay. Almost my color. Hello, my name is Lisedi and I'm from Auckland Park and the prophecy that I received was 100% true. Why are you saying it's true? Um, it's true because I always try by all means to pray at night and I'm from Pretoria. The man of God prophesied that I'm from Pretoria and I'm also attacked by spirits from Pretoria with a friend. And yeah, I do have a friend who also is attacked by spirits from Pretoria. And you also spoke about your studies. What is really happening to your studies? You know, a lot was happening in my studies. I graduated this year and then I pursued in BTEC. Mm -hmm. Ever since I started, I was failing. Even now, I'm, I'm only doing one module. Yeah, so the devil has attacked me in my studies, trying to make me to focus more on studying instead of praying and reading the word. But I never allowed that to take over because I know that studies are not everything in life. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now after the man of God has prayed for you? To be honest, I was praying in my heart before he prophesied and I was like, today you have to start by prophesying me before you prophesy everyone else. So when he called me, I, I just knew that God truly sees prayers. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. If you want a job, can you get it? Amen. Say, I'm receiving my job. I'm receiving my job. Huh? You don't want a job? Huh? So if you want a job, say, I'm if I'm receiving it this week. There's also a brother there. Brother, there's a job that is coming also to you. Yes, stand up. Sister, take your job. Come out. There's a brother there. Come also get your own. And God is healing you also. Oh, you hear me? I receive. God is healing you. I receive. Because in your family, uh, you people, you must pray against the spirits of that is making you people to drink a lot. Huh? I receive. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So today, after I pray for you, I believe the whole family will be free because you have got the same problem. I receive. Huh? I receive. So go and leave this alcohol. You leave this issue of smoking, you become a Christian. I receive.
Yes, my name is Thomas Magoro. Mm -hmm. We are from Brongor Spread, a location called Ekangala. Mm -hmm. uh, the prophecy of today is all about truth because now it's been, it's been five years I'm looking for a job but without any success. Mm -hmm. But all what they prophesied about me, it is truth. You said... And, uh, okay. and then again, what he did prophesize is true because of I've got a problem of smoking. Hmm. Yeah. You said you have five years looking for a job, meaning you were depending on somebody else to give you money. And as a man, I believe you need to take care of yourself and also take care of your household. How did that affect you while you were not having money to do what you're supposed to do as a man? Actually, I was feeling like I'm a useless father in my house because uh, everything I was depending on my wife, well, she's earning a small salary. We survived by that small salary. It was really a shock. It was a painful. As a man, uh, uh, you don't even provide. You don't even have uh, plans for, for living. Praying, praying. No luck. And I believe it also affected your spiritual life because you are trying to live according to the way the Bible says you must live. At the same time, you are saying you are Christian, but still you are not getting a job. You are not, your life is not changing. How is it affecting you? It's affecting me because I was really even give up on life that, please God, if you help others, what about me? It seems as if the God doesn't even answer my prayer. But as from today, I think my ways will be open. Mm. And he also spoke, as you said, about the issue of smoking. How is it affecting you? It's affecting a lot. You see, when you are a heavy smoker and you don't even wake him, it was stress, a real, a real stress. You don't have a plans, you don't have a nothing. It's a stress. But how are you feeling right now? Today, I've, I, I've got the hope, I believe, all that my doors will be open from today. Amen. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as a man of God has prayed for you, declared unto your life, you shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. You knew I was coming to you. Stand up straight. I want to pray for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm seeing an attack on you. Amen. Huh? Amen. There are spirits that are feeding all the time. And I'm seeing there's these things that are growing in your stomach. It is true. Huh? Amen. If you go to the doctor, they'll say you've got fibroid. Amen. Huh? Amen. And now the same attack, it's attacking your marriage. Amen. Huh? Where's it your husband? Yeah. Because both of you, you're, you're, I can say you're sick. Amen. Because I'm seeing you fighting a lot. Huh? Yes. Amen. Having a lot of disagreements, brother. Huh? Yes, uh, I sometimes... And this lady, sometimes she's thinking of going. Yeah, because... Yes. Did you tell him? Yes, sometimes I did. Huh? Yeah, sometimes... Because there's also a spirit of suspecting each other. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So today, I'll pray for you. Let's stop this problem. Amen. Because this thing, it's like you people, you're you are getting attacked by the same spirits. Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. And you, there's this thing here. So, brother, today we'll pray for you. Amen. And God will release you from this cage. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Because I'm seeing people fighting, fighting too much. Yeah, because sometimes I, I don't understand when you can sit together and be happy. One, two, three, you found that she started to be like, like uh, on Saturday or Friday when I come back to work. I, f I feel that she's not right, but in my heart I was praying that God, why? Th that's why yesterday also I come and just pray also with, with uh, so, but I was praying, I know that there is something that is troubling me to her. Uh, out! Out! Your spiritual husband. Out! Okay, my name is Lula Gambeo, and the one that is next to me is my husband, uh, is Flangi Chahoke, and I stay here in Tembisa. And then the prophet is true. Uh, since last week, I have been not feeling well. 
but I was not knowing what is happening. But today, I thank God that he located me. And then, yes, there was something that was growing in me, but it was, I was feeling pains all the time, even if I want to sleep. It was hard to sleep. So I didn't know what was happening until today God has located me and healed me all day. Were you taking any medication? What was really happening in your body? Because you're saying you couldn't sleep. Were you feeling pains? What was really happening? No, I was not taking the medication because I was believing that God will heal me if there's something that is wrong in me. And then my body was like, sometimes I was feeling a heat or sometimes I was feeling dizzy, not knowing what is happening in my body until I was told myself, you know what, I'm not going to the doctor or do something until I come to the house of the Lord and God will locate me. And then I thank God that today it was my day really located to us. So, yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, now I'm feeling great and I'm happy. And there's a light, obvious. Uh, uh, I thank God that today he healed me and my husband, even though we didn't know that we were sick with the same sickness. And then we didn't know that we were under attack. And But today I thank God that yes, we are healed here. Yeah. When your wife keeps on... Uh, uh, um, complaining to you about this thing I believe when she wakes up you really need to wake up also because she'll be feeling pain how did it affect on you also how are you feeling on your body uh, according to me in my body I'm feeling right for right now but uh, the time she was not feeling well I was feeling so down my spirit was very down but now uh, because prophet Andres pray for us I believe that God heal us and uh, I know we're not, the devil you can't catch us because I know now the thing that I can do is to pray every time to fight this spirit to leave us so now I know that God is with us and I know now I'm going to fight the spirit so not come to us again we give glory to Jesus for life we believe that as the prophet of God has declared healing unto your life you are healed and you are coming back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mama, I want to pray for you. Amen. I want to pray for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Let's break this curse of your family. Thank you, Jesus. Because these are people that they used to worship things. Yes. In the family. Yes. Huh? It's I'm seeing them beating do 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 like... You see these things of drums. Huh? Yes, so today, sister. now this same spirit is searching for you people. So I want to pray for you because this spirit is working against anyone who wants to get married. Yes, the sister. plan of the enemy, they want you people to have children. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Without fathers. Yes, it's true. In fact, the plan here, you must have different fruits children with different fathers yes huh? yes it's true so let's cancel the spirit yes because even you you're an older person but this spirit has attacked you 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 private yes it's true huh? it's true i have a problem i'm saying you're an older person i'm seeing attack yes in even, your private year yes even my restoration out You demon! Come out! In Jesus' mighty name, you will do a white wedding. Stand up. God will give you money. Are you hearing me? Amen. God will give you money. Amen. And I'm praying that God must give you a better job. Amen. Because that's what you're praying for. Come out! This lady. You must respect your husband. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Sir, this lady must respect you. Yes. Huh? That's true. Sister? You must respect this man. Amen. There's no man that can ever be happy when he's having a partner that doesn't respect him. Because you sometimes you just talk in your Huh? Yes. You've got a spirit of anger. Yes. Huh, sir? Yes, that's true. She has got a spirit of anger. That's true. When, when she's angry, you can't do anything. Come out. 
is this demon. Come out! Out! Sir, so can you please introduce yourself to us and also introduce the lady next to you? Okay. My name is Mwako Sefefe and here she's my wife. Amen. Confirm the prophecy that you received today. Is it true or not? The prophecy, it was very true because what the man of God said to us, that's what is happening. Why are you saying it's true? Take us to your life. What is really happening? It's true because the man of God said to me, I want, I will do what waiting. And that's what I want. And, I, I, and it's true that I want a job that I will make sure that I will do a wedding. And while you were facing obstacles, this thing was not coming. How was it affecting you? It was affecting me very bad because that's why men of God said, I'm not happy about what is happening. Yeah. And today, after the prophecy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very happy because that shows that God knows us. Yes. Okay, I can say... It was tough to me, but I understand that we didn't have money. But by the God grace, I know by after the prophecy, we will wait. And that is our wish. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very happy, very happy. We believe that as the prophet of God has spoken unto your life, you shall surely do your wedding and come and testify that God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.